What's up YouTube, Anton Log here, and today I have a review for you guys of the Google Nexus 7 2012. You can get it for about $170 to $200 right now, and I will have a link in the description of this video of where to get it. So to start off this review, let's take a tour around the Nexus 7. On the bottom of the Nexus 7, you can find a micro USB port for charging and a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the right is where the power button and volume rocker is located, and towards the back of the device, we will find the Nexus logo, a SUS logo, speaker, and a rubberized plastic soft touch grip backplate. The backplate on the Nexus 7 is non removable, which means no battery upgrade and data expansion, and also the soft touch grip adds to the comfort of holding the device wherever you hold it. On the front is your 1.2 megapixel front facing camera and a 7 inch 720p screen. The faceplate is an all flush black design that's consistent with all Nexus devices from the Galaxy Nexus and on. The Nexus line is one of the best design products in my opinion, and this is no exception. However, one thing that I don't like about the Nexus 7 is the silver border around the bezels and the dimples in the backplate. In my opinion, it makes the tablet look cheap, and that was one of my very minor complaints about the Nexus 7. Another minor complaint that I had is that I wish the bevels of the Nexus 7 would be a little smaller. But the bevels are pretty much the only way to place your fingers while you're watching media, so I guess it's okay. Overall, the build quality and design of the Nexus 7 is solid. Looking at the specs of the Nexus 7, it's a very powerful tablet. It's rocking a quad-core Tegra 3 processor and a 1280x800 display to give the Nexus 7 a PPI of 216. The text and images are really sharp and you should have no jagged edges on text. The color representation isn't the best, but it's what you can expect from a $200 tablet. The brightness is average, but I always use it on auto, so I guess it's okay. Also, it has a 4325mAh battery, an NVIDIA ULP GeForce GPU, and 1GB of RAM. The battery life of the Nexus 7 is great and can easily last me an entire day on medium to heavy use. The speaker is also pretty loud, but the sound quality isn't that great. Also, the speaker is either going to the right, to the left, or to the bottom, so the sound will be only coming from one direction. That's one flaw that I've seen in a lot of devices, not just the Nexus 7, and I really wish someone would change that. The front-facing camera on the Nexus 7 isn't that great, but will do the job for video calling and hangouts. Now onto the software and performance of the Nexus 7. Since this is a Nexus device, the new system updates will come to this device as soon as it's released. The Nexus 7 is currently running Android 4.3 Jelly Bean, and overall this is my favorite operating system. It's simple yet customizable if you want it to be, and it can be any look and feel that you want. On the bottom of your home screen, you will have a home, back, and recent apps button. This is very useful for navigating around Android. Performance in the Nexus 7 is pretty good, but it will occasionally stutter and lag. Thanks to the GeForce GPU, the Nexus 7 can handle graphically intense games like Dead Trigger and Asphalt 8. However, sometimes the device lags when it runs out of its 1GB of RAM, and overall the performance is ideal for an average consumer looking for a great tablet. To me, this is the second best 7-inch tablet after the second generation Nexus 7 and before the iPad mini. At just $200, it's a killer deal. The complaints that I have were just minor complaints, and if you can get past those, this tablet is definitely for you. So guys, that was my review of the Google Nexus 7 2012. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video as it really helps me out to know that you guys like the content that I create and pump out for you guys. Also, subscribe to see more cool videos like this. So hope you guys like it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.